Yes, 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 guys, welcome to another episode of Matt Zena Acting Tips. Today may be one of the most important episodes that I have ever created. I'm going to be talking about, really, about ditching the day job and how you could do that and how, why you should do that. Okay, so, so many actors come up to me and it's like, right, you know, I, I just, I, I hate going to my day job. It drains all my energy. Now, if you've got a day job that's draining all of your energy, how are you going to be able to really have the energy to pursue your real dream of being an actor? One of the problems is, is that most actors see the fact that if they aren't on a TV series or if they're not in a film or if they aren't on a theatre um, run, that they're not acting or they're not performing. Now the point is, is that there's two types of performance work and two types of acting work. There's your core, you know, which is your commercials and all of the types of things that your agent might send you for, okay? And then there's what I call peripheral. Peripheral acting jobs that you can pick up whenever you want. Now, if you want to ditch the day job, my strong advice to you is, is start to create an acting business whereby you pick up peripheral acting jobs that slowly take over and you reduce your hours in your normal day job that you don't particularly like until you get paid as much, if not more, or even a little bit less from doing peripheral acting jobs that don't drain your energy, you want to wake up for, you want to do, because it's performing. Now there is one issue, and that is a lot of actors feel like, thanks Alexa, okay? A lot of actors feel like those types of jobs are beneath them, okay? Peripheral acting jobs, and we'll go into what they are in a minute, okay? So let's just take one of them, one of the most extreme examples. So being like a, say if you, considered a peripheral performing job being a mascot and you wore one of those big costumes with a big heads all right so so many actors if you think that that is beneath you and you would rather go to a, a desk job where you are bored to tears when you could earn money from doing that then maybe in your heart of hearts you aren't a performer Maybe you're doing it for maybe egotistical reasons, all right? But if it, at heart you are a performer, then you would have real pride in the fact that you've created an acting business and a performance-based business, and you are doing that type of work rather than being in a job that you hate. There is nothing cooler than being an entrepreneur, I'm telling you right now, because not many people can do it. Not many people do do it. Not many people take charge of their own destiny. Now, that doesn't mean that you do this instead of your core. It means that you become a diarising, booking machine. You decide when you do these jobs because it's your business. You decide when you do your self-tapes. You decide if you can fit in a certain role you get an acting job and you think, right, I've got to clear out some of this. And you've got, it's all about diarising and you've got to get very clever at it. So what are some examples of some um, peripheral performance type roles? So we can do things like theatre and education. So many great companies going into schools, doing all sorts of acting, needing actors for all sorts of different reasons. Okay. You can do acting workshops with kids. Okay. I started off doing that and then I started doing it with adults and it became, actually, became what I decided I loved most. So it actually became my principal um, activity and it's the best decision I ever made. And in fact, I even said the other day, I said, look, if someone offered me a prime time role in a British soap, I wouldn't take it. I much prefer doing this because it's my passion to help actors. What other types of peripheral acting roles are there? There are um, kind of seasonal stuff like horror um, 
horror. Uh, <laughs> scare acting, scare ground acting. I don't know if that's an, a US thing, but it's definitely a UK thing. All right. Um, being an elf, you know, playing Santa if you're old enough. Okay. Um, content creation, role play. There's so many. We have murder mystery events, looking for actors all the time. Are these things really beneath you? If you don't have to have the day job? As well as that, you could do voiceover. All right, voiceover is brilliant at the minute and it's such a, and just remember one thing. So say for instance, right, your agent did get you um, a, a, a huge audition and you had to come out of your day job at an office or whatever it is, or a bar, and you had to quickly get changed on the train, go to that audition. Would you be ready for it, really? Having been drained by that job, you know? Would you be really backed up with hours and hours worth of performance experience behind you that gives you the confidence to perform? Not really. What does all this peripheral acting work do? It's like a foundation. It lifts you up, it makes you stronger. It makes you a performer in your very spirit because you do it on a daily basis and anything you do on a daily basis becomes your whole personality. You want to be a performer, an actor at your very core. And when you are that, believe me, when you show up to an audition, you are much stronger than the person who has a day job and just kind of rushes out for an audition to, or to do a self-tape. Another thing as well, imagine if you did just kind of flukily get that big role and then you ended up on set. Then you, what do you get? Okay. You, it's like you don't even feel like you should be there. You get imposter syndrome. But imagine if you were a regular performer, constantly performing, doing peripheral acting jobs all of the time and you did this on a daily basis, you'd turn up on set and you wouldn't have imposter syndrome because you are a regular actor, performer constantly all the time anyway. There is no excuse for you to have that day job if you don't want it. You have a specialist skill and you can apply for acting jobs today. Apply for your core acting jobs, get your agent to apply for your core acting jobs, but why have a day job when you can do peripheral acting jobs as well? Okay, this should be a real wake up call to a lot of you actors that constantly complain about your day job. There's so much work out there, it's abundant. And you can easily earn as much as your day job having an acting business with both core and peripheral acting jobs. All right, we're kind of running consecutively and consistently. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Matt Zena Acting Tips. Make sure you join us next week for another episode.